So in the series of learning Python programming language, we have discussed in the previous video uh, one coding exercise. We have done one range function, what is range function and then based on that one coding exercise we have done, right. Now in this video also we will be uh, discussing one question, but that is actually a job interview question and this is the basic and the you can see the most important or the, the favorite question of interviewers. They ask this in coding interviews, right. That is FISBA's job interview question. I think you have heard about this question. Now what is this question? You have to write down a program, right? That will print number from 1 to n. n can be anything. Let's suppose 1 to 100. 1 to 100. You have to print number 1 to 100. So maybe you will say using range function we can simply print 1, 2, 3 something like this, right? But no, there is a twist. The numbers which are divisible by 3 rather than printing that number there it should print fizz and the number divisible by 5 for that rather than printing that number it should print buzz and the number divisible by both 3 and 5 rather than printing that number it should print fizz buzz other than that simply print the numbers like 1 then 2 then 3 is divisible by 3 so rather than printing 3 it should print fizz then 3 then 4 then 5 is divisible by 5 so rather than 5 it will print buzz like this then 6 6 is divisible by 3 so it will print here buzz like this it will print till 100 the numbers so I think that's very easy you must be thinking like there are only three condition you have to put in for loop you can put these three condition that's just a hint but here one twist is in which order you are putting these conditions that also matters okay so this is just a simple hint you need to take care now pause the video and try this out before seeing the solution right so i hope you have done this exercise now let's check the solution create a new file here and that is fizzbuzz.py okay directly because you have to put a for loop right on the range 1 to 100 and then simply put three condition right okay let's write down for i'm taking a variable name number in and the range will be taking what from 1 to 100 i want so 1 to 101 right now in this for loop we will be checking condition maybe if you write something like this simply write down three conditions like if we will check the number first of all it is divisible by 3 so how we will check mode 3 equal to equal to 0 then simply it will print fizz right next condition elif this number is divisible by 5 then simply we will print buzz right elif if the number is divisible by both 3 and uh, 5 so mode 3 equal to equal to 0 and number mode 5 equal to equal to 0 both the conditions are true then it will print what fizz buzz Okay, other than this, other than this, it, it will print simply the number. So, in that will, uh, you know, the sales part will catch up that thing. So, print in else will simply print the number. Maybe you are thinking that's it. Okay, let's see. Rather than now uh, till this, we will take this till 1 to 10. Okay, to make it easy for you to understand. So, 1 to 11, I am taking the range. Let's run this. See what it will printing 1 2 then fizz then 4 then buzz then fizz 7 8 fizz buzz then fizz then buzz for 10 you must be thinking it's right right okay but no 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 don't say congratulations to you there is some problem in this code if i run this code 1 to 16 because see 15 is divisible by both 3 and 5 so according to the question at 15 it should print fizz buzz 
right okay let's run this and see see after 14 13 14 at the place of 15 it is printing just fizz but it is divisible by both 3 and 5 so it should print fizz buzz then you have something wrong in this code okay see now once 15 in number 15 is being assigned so 15 is divisible first condition would be checked obviously sequentially it will go the control 15 divisible by 3 15 more 3 equal to 0 yes it is divisible by 3 so it will print simply fizz because this condition is true and once it find that one condition is true it will not check other conditions so it will skip all the other part but we want that at this time this condition should be checked so how it is possible we can write down this condition here at first place right and after that these two conditions so that may work i don't know let's see if rather than writing here i am writing this thing here so we'll simply print first we'll check this condition if this is the case print fizzbuzz else sorry elif elif number divisible by 3 then fizz then 5 then buzz so you can write down number this condition before here rather than 3 you can check with 5 and here you can check with 3 that is fine because they are these are not overlapping right so simply i'm writing 3 then 5 in else part will simply print the number let's run this on this code see now at that that 15 number it is printing fizzbuzz now it's working fine i'm not saying that this is you know a clean and maintainable code and uh, the best code i have you know i have written for this problem no but this is one solution there may be many solutions right just to make your code like more maintainable and clean and all rather than writing these elif 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 and if statement multiple times maybe you can use one solution we have that you can use switch statement also right because see in this case if the number is like uh, there's a number seven so I, I want rather than first of all it will check this condition then this condition then this condition and then it will go here and print seven so rather than checking all the condition i want it should directly print seven rather than checking all the condition uh, means you know it would take i think a less time so for that we can use switch case statement also but this is one way to solve this problem right i hope you got the logic now you can try this out the different different ways you can solve this problem right so this problem is a favorite one to be asked in coding interviews so you must try this out right so i hope if any interviewer asks this question from you you can easily answer this question you can easily write down the logic and all right now in the next video we will uh, be seeing one python project we will make a python project one we have done that is rock paper scissor the second project is this in this series right so now we will see in the next video till then bye bye take care